problem of economic development is complicated. Which factors matter for economic development? Do political institutions cause economic development? Does economic development lead to better institutions? Or could it be that a third factor drives both of these? In this course, we'll consider how we as social scientists explore these questions. We'll study the core theoretical concepts in political economy and apply them to developing country contexts. 14750X is an empirically driven class. We'll discuss how to do good empirical research and how we can use some evidence to answer some of these questions surrounding political economy and economic development. As some of the material is more advanced, a basic familiarity with statistics and microeconomics will be helpful for this course. We'll draw lessons from existing research and seek to understand the implications of these findings in other contexts. We'll explore different empirical designs and develop an empirical toolkit that can be applied across topics in economics. You will apply these methods in weekly assignments, many of which will involve data analyses using real-world data from studies we discuss in class. Over the course of 11 weeks, we'll cover a range of topics surrounding political economy and economic development. Does political economy even matter for economic development? And how do we know? What role does democracy play in a country's development? Does the leader of a country matter for its economic outcomes? We'll also explore the historical determinants of development and their persistence to understand questions like whether historical institutions and the colonial legacy determine who is rich and poor today. We will delve into the topic of voting and elections. How do we think about the relationship between voters and politicians? How do candidates choose their policy positions? And what information do people use to make their voting choices? We will explore these themes in theory and in practice. Specifically, we will look at how the way that voting takes place in developing countries influences the policies that governments actually put in place and ultimately development outcomes. Other topics throughout the course will include service delivery and its failures, as well as discrimination and affirmative action. We will cover issues surrounding corruption and bureaucracy. Is corruption in government always a bad thing? And if corruption is a problem, how do we address this? For example, how do we motivate politicians? We'll also explore the role of the media in politics and seek to understand its evolution in the age of social media. We hope you will join us as we explore these topics and more. We look forward to seeing you in class.